All right guys, so this is the first of two kind of quiz videos. And so the purpose of these is just to, you know, the leukemia, you know, we covered the kind of like the teaching aspect with a, with a question in the last video. So those are, these are just two videos where you can kind of test your knowledge with just some questions that we created to, um, you know, to see if you kind of have the, the material mastered. So hope you like the video. All right, so go ahead and the first question is going to read, a five-year-old male is brought to his pediatrician after complaints of recurrent nosebleeds. There is evidence of diffuse petechiae. Lab findings are as follows, hemoglobin 8.9, platelet counts around 40,000, leukocyte count 14.2, <clears throat> and then you have this slide here, and essentially you have these, these cells, and there's you know, obviously a, a, a large portion of it um, would be you know, darkened per se if you could really see this. Um, but you can still solve it without the picture. The cells in the slide have positive immunostaining for terminal deoxynucleotidal transferase, or TDT. They express surface CD19, CD10. What is the most likely diagnosis? All right, so take a, take a second to, to get your answer or look at the answer choices or put it on pause. Now, what do we know on this one? Well, the big stuff is, chances are, you know, unless things got a big old arrow saying, look here, you, know, you can't rely too much on the picture, um, at least in this situation right here. Maybe on the step exam, it might be a little more clear, but for us, we don't, we typically don't need this. But just to review, now, well, review kind of big picture. Remember we had the stem, CD, uh, CD34, and then we said, look, it's gonna go down here to gonna be a myeloid or a lymphoid, right? And then we'll have blast cells, all right? Myeloblast cells, um, like erythroblast, megakaryoblast, monoblast, myeloblast right here, or the lymphoblast cells on this side. And then as these mature, the, this is what becomes our um, erythrocyte, megakaryocyte, uh, monocyte, et cetera, et cetera on this side. And then on this side, they're just gonna mature down to T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes, but they're gonna be more mature. So we have our blast cells, and then they mature into the uh, more mature version of what they're trying to create. So this is acute, right? Acute lymph lymph lymphocytic leukemia. <clears throat> of course, that will go chronic and call CLL. Over here, we have acute myelogenous leukemia, and then we have chronic myelogenous leukemia. So pretty simple and basic. Now, back to this question. TDT positive. Now you had to have that memorized, correct? And so which one was, did we say was TDT positive? Out of all the ones that were TDT positive, we knew that was gonna be our, our ALL, correct? Um, so TDT positive lets us know, when something's T, TDT positive, that's how we know something is a lympho, I should say, lympho blast, all right? It's a lymph, lymphoblast. Now, the question now becomes is, is this a um, myeloblast? Or, um, I'm sorry, and I had it backwards. I should have said this is a blast. And really the question was, was it a myeloid or a lympho, lymphoblast? And it's a lympho that says it's TDT, right? It's always, it's, it's the lymphoblast that's gonna be TD positive. That's how you'll know that if you have blast cells, if you can really see, you know, the blast cell takes up most of the majority of the cell, um, would be a lymphoblast. Now the question really is on this, on this is, well, we know that it's gonna be a lymphoblast. We know it's ALL for multiple reasons, not the least of which is it's, it's called um, the age of the patient, right? ALL is for the very young. Platelet count is low, right? Platelet count, normally 150 to 400, I think even in kids. Um, hemoglobin is normally 12, and uh, looks like count words. Yeah, it's right, pretty close, a little bit elevated. So the hemoglobin is low and the platelet count's low, so it seems like things didn't mature. So that's another clue that we're, that we're sitting in the acute phase, right? Is that things didn't mature, that's why our platelet count is so low. It's TDT positive, so we know it's a lympho, um, a, you know, a lymphoblast, then it, the question really is, is it a pre-B or a pre-T? And we know at a basic memorization, CD19, CD10 are gonna be our pre-B. So they're precursor 
B cell leukemia is the correct answer, okay? So there's a lot of clues on this one. I mean, you could have solved this question basically just by reading the bottom line. TDT positive, you gotta be jumping all over uh, the fact that it's a lymphoblast, okay? And remember, that's in the, where is it stained? It's stained in the nucleus, stained in the nucleus, because remember, it's the AML where it's a uh, cytoplasmic staining. Okay, so this one correct answer is gonna be C. All right, now the next one. Go ahead and take a shot at it. It says a 29-year-old male returns back to his primary care with complaints of recurrent sinus infection and mild upper quadrant pain in the abdomen. Lab findings reveal white blood cell count of 70,000. Peripheral blood smear reveals increased granulocytes. The leukocyte alkaline phosphatase score is low. Which of the following is the most likely association with the patient's diagnosis? So go ahead and look at the answer choices. Is it translocation 1517? Is it B, treatment focus on blockage of tyrosine kinase? Is it C, associated with smudge cell? Is it D, treatment focus on blockage of retinoic acid receptor? Or is it E, translocation 1221? So when we look at this, you know, again, we know that there's something, they're talking about these leukemias just based on the answer choices, okay? That's one clue. Talking about blood smears and the white blood cell count is elevated. Now, <clears throat> how do I know that this is just not a, because one thing you have to differentiate, how do you know that this isn't just some leukemoid, leukemoid, how is it spelled right, uh, reaction, all right? How do you know? Because in a leukemoid reaction, the uh, alkaline, or the lab, the leukocyte uh, alkaline phosphatase score is either uh, normal or elevated, okay? Or more elevated. And in this one, the, the LAP, or the lab, leuco leukocyte alkaline phos is low. So we know it's not this, but luckily that wasn't part of the answer choice. So, but we're in the ballpark of it's got to be some type of leukemia. Now, we also know that if we did, if we just did all our basic um, leukemias and said, okay, well, let's just group them with age, right? This person's 29, um, and we know that the white blood cell count is, um, it's elevated, okay? Um, <clears throat> so based on a couple theories here. So first of all, ALL, we said that one's kids, right? Less than 15 years of age or just a child. AML, we said median age is 60, okay? CML, 30 to 60, and then CLL, greater than 60. So just based on age alone, it's almost like we're getting rid of these guys. Based on the fact that my white blood cell count is up, which is the only other kind of clue in this one besides some just general symptoms, uh, is that if I went back to my whole CD34 and I said, oh, well, I don't know if it's a myeloid or a, a lymphoid stem cell, and then if I did this, it goes here, where I'd get a bunch of blasts, okay? Or if I, and then after the blast, they would mature into the more mature, you know, erythrocyte, RBC, platelets, neutrophils, basophils, eosinophils, everything would be increased if it made it to this stage. So the fact that my white blood cell count is up, something tells me it's not in the acute, right? It's, it's not in the acute just because it, it would have never made that. It would have never matured to an official white blood cell. But where do I get all my white blood cells? Were they on the, lymph, um, the lymphoid stem cell side or were they on the myeloid side? Well, according to this, they're on, the, they're on the myeloid side. So I'm going right here. So in this situation, it's 29. So it's right there in the ballpark of CML. Um, it's chronic because I know my white blood cell counts are elevated, so I'm leaning toward this. And so now I'm like, all right, I'm leaning toward a CML. And a lot of times in CML, they like to play that leukocyte alkaline phos score comparison to see if you know the difference between the two. And since it's low, you know, we know it's not the leukemoid reaction. So everything's pointing towards CML. Is it A, uh, translocation 1517? Hmm. Not really, right? Because that, 1517, we know is associated with AML. And that's the one that has the retinoic acid receptor on chromosome uh, 17. The age of AML is going to be around uh, 60, right? And what else do we know? This is positive 
cytoplasmic staining of myeloperoxidase, okay? Associated with our rods. You gotta tell that story. Treatment focused on blockage of tyrosine kinase? Maybe. Associated with the smudge cell? Nah, we know that one's just CLL. And remember the treatment for CLL is based on staging. Um, the worst staging is low platelets. Always know the extremes. Low platelets would be the worst uh, scenario for someone with CLL. And then that's when you'd have the, if it was CD20, you would treat with rituximab, okay? Uh, but definitely not that one for this, this question. Is it D, treatment focused on blockage of retinoic acid receptor? Uh, I kind of just, that was just a big distractor. Didn't even really word it very well. But that retinoic acid receptor is going to be dealing with that 15, 17, um, that translocation there. And it's the, you know, uh, what happens, um, what they do with that is that's the alls, yeah, the, the all trans retinoic acid and what it does it when you, when you treat with that the vitamin a essentially it binds to the receptor the faulty receptor and allows to do what to mature and i've actually seen a nbme question that was focused more on that what does that tran what does the retinoic acid the all trans retinoic acid or the vitamin a do it actually allows it to mature but in this word again that is, uh, you know, associated uh, with AML, not CML. So it's not that one. Or is it E, translocation of 1221? Now, 1221, that is associated with ALL. And a lot of this is just factual stuff you kind of have to be more familiar with. But again, in ALL, remember, remember our differential? We said, oh, it's, well, we know that ALL is lymphoblastic. Uh, so it's going to be positive TDT, and then to know whether it's a pre-T or a pre-B, pre-B, CD19, CD10, uh, pre-T, CD1, 2, 5, all strictly memory. And then this translocation 1221 is, is associated with ALL. This is for the kids. Um, it has the good prognosis uh, because this responds pretty well to treatment. But back to this question, we know somewhat based on age, Elevated this, it's elevated white blood cells, chronic, low lap, it's going to be CML, and that is associated with the blockage of tyrosine kinase, which medication um, classically, i got to make sure I spell it right, imatinib, right, Cl classically does that, imatinib. And what test question, when they say CML, what, which, uh, what's usually typically elevated, and you better know that, it would be the basophils. And that makes sense, right? Because we know as we as we progress from the blast cells to the more mature cells, it's going to have you know elevated perhaps elevated RBCs, elevated platelets, elevated neutrophil, basophil, eosinophil. That's what they're looking for. So it's the increased basophil is classic for CML. And the last one it says a 49-year-old male is is uh, presents. To his PCP with complaints of fatigue, there's evidence of diffuse petechiae. Lab findings are as follows. Hemoglobin is 8. Uh, platelets are 62,000. Leukocyte count 45,000. Okay. Bone marrow re reveals this. I don't know, it's pretty, I know it's hard to see, but again, you can answer it just by this alone. What's the most likely diagnosis? Now, it's real easy on you right here, right? Very seldom when you get something that says, what's the diagnosis? They're going to take it one extra step. But think about this, which, what would be your answer? Well, hemoglobin is eight, normal for adults, 10 to 18. Platelet counts only 62,000. The normal is gonna be 150 to 400K, so it's low. Um, and then leukocyte count is up, um, you know, slightly up here. And that kind of goes, goes against my um, previous theory a little bit, but when you look at all the clues in here, um, when you look at all the clues, when the platelet count's low, did it ever make it to, ma to uh, maturity, per se? Did it ever make it? And so, again, it goes back to myeloid, lymphoid, blast cell, blast cell, and then mature cells, mature cells.
Okay. Now, if we were to look at this and say, you guys, 49, okay, just looking at, looking at this, we know we're doing le leukemias. He's uh, 49. So we know that ALL is going to be less than 15. We know CLL is going to be greater than 60. We know AML is typically median age is 60, um, median. And then CML, we know it's going to be between 30 and 60. So we got two guys in play here, okay? We got two guys in play. So we got to keep looking for something. The platelet count is is significantly low. So which one does that support? Does that support something going to maturity or something staying in the blast phase? You know, it probably supports something more going into the blast phase. So we're, now we're looking at, okay, more likely going to be an acute. Is there any other clue that we can take away from this? If, you are, if you're able to see this, you know, here's the thing here, but if you see this little piece right there, okay, that little piece right there, that is going to be an hour, hour rod. And we know that hour rods are associated with AML. So again, you just got to take as much, you know, as much of the, um, the clues that they give you and then put your best answer. A lot of times, a lot of times age is going to knock it in half, right? I mean, just based on this, age can knock it in half. And then look for something that says, is this going to be more blast in the acute? or is it something that's more chronic? And I think if you do that, if they give you one extra clue like this, which is a slam dunk, I think you'll do just fine when it comes to the uh, leukemias.